With an FC TV, with Adam Hinchelwood following a 3 0 win away at Abley in the National League South, so, Adam, you've got to be pleased with that one. No, yeah, I thought it was an unbelievable away performance, um, really difficult place to come, um, and you know, we've let them have very little here today. Um, defensively, I thought we, we worked our socks off, um, but say limit them to, to very little and, uh, you know, um, come away with three goals. So, yeah, really, really pleased. Um, as you say, probably a perfect away performance. Uh, extending the unbeaten run to five now in the league, you must be happy with the way things are going at the moment. Oh, yeah, I think we're playing some, some really good stuff. Um, you know, we, the shape seems to be good. The, the, like, the work ethic's definitely there. Um, and like I'm really enjoying watching watching the team play at the moment. I think um, they're getting the balance right. Um, you know, one without the other don't work. Us being really good on the ball, but not having the hunger to press and work hard, just doesn't work. And um, you know, we're really seeing one or two step up to the plate now. And um, you know, the, the new additions coming in and scoring goals. Um, so it just seems to be clicking at, at a good time for us. Yeah, you mentioned the new additions there. Tommy Willard goal on debut today. Just a word on his performance. No, yeah, I thought he's um, got into his goal well. Um, I thought we was a little bit wasteful first half. Um, got in some good positions and didn't quite have the, the end product, but he's found himself in, in a good area. Um, we spoke to him on, on Thursday about you know when the crosses are coming in from the right hand side for him to be arriving in the box, and, and he's done that. And you know I think the, the front four, um, you know, all, all working really hard. Uh, and there's probably a bit more to come from them in terms of end product. Um, that's the scary thing. But you know, we're going to keep on, on working with them. And uh, you know, I think the, 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 the makings of a really good uh, partnership between the four of them out there. It certainly feels exciting from a weather point of view at the moment as well. Um, I'm sure supporters are enjoying what they're seeing. It seems like you sort of found a winning formula at the moment. What would you put that down to in the last month or so? No, just a, a slight, a, a slight, a slight uh, a tweak to, to the shape, sort of as we get comfortable position. Uh, the playing outside phase has been pretty much the same. We just looked at a slight um, change. Um, you know, I won't give too much away, but a, a slight change seems to work. And let's like, say in, in position, everyone seems to be comfortable with uh, their role. Um, and ultimately, I think the lads are just, um, you know, really working hard and, and, and knowing that that's, that's a winning formula for us. When, when we run, when we work hard, when we outwork teams, uh, we're not the biggest. Um, I think their mascots looked bigger in the lineup today than, than our lineup, but you know we've got to outwork teams and, and run and sprint and you know, we're starting to add that to our game and I think that's been the, the um, important thing that we've, we've changed in the last, last month or so. And a quick word on Ollie Pierce as well, seven games in a row, he's just unstoppable at the moment. I think it's his tenth in that Spell as well, just a quick word on him and, and the form he's in at the moment. Yeah, nice. No, I've seen it for a few years now with Ollie, to be honest. Um, he's one as well, start of the season, um, you know, didn't play as much as what he wanted to, um, wanted more work rate from him, and he's one when he's working hard, there's no coincidence that the goals, the goals come as well. Um, and, you know, I think not, not just Ollie, but, you know, Danny Cashman alongside him is, is working his socks off as well. And like, the pair of them are, are really becoming a, a good pair, um, you know, so one without the other, you probably don't score as many goals as what he has. So, you know, Danny's played his part as well. So, you know, it's, it's, like I say, I think there's even more to come from the front four. Um, but, yeah, Ollie's. You know, he's really becoming a leader and it's nice to see, we've seen him sort of really mature and, and become a leader over the last few years and I'm glad he's getting his rewards. And next up, now uh, return home, Dover next week. You mentioned previously the, the importance of the home support. Um, yeah, just just how much are you looking forward to hopefully playing in front of another big crowd next week? No, yeah, I'm really hopeful. Um, I think I think the lads sort of deserve it with how they're performing, how they're playing, um, and we're hoping that you know the the big crowd that, that come to our last home game enjoy what they see and you know just try to encourage them to, to come back. And I know we're getting some work down down one end of the ground, but let's put Keith, the uh, general manager, a bit of pressure, um, get another full house for him to try and cope with, uh, which would be nice. And it does make a difference, honestly. Um, even today, it's a massive crowd for, uh, I think it's five, 500, and it's got to be at least 100 Worthing fans here or so. So, you know, it really is appreciated. Um, and yeah, just hopefully we, we can get a big crowd for the lads next week.